Hi everyone, it's Pam again. I'm here to chat today about rolling. We had a great question on the board the other day about um, a little five month old who's starting to roll and get stuck on his belly. And mom was wondering the best way to be able to help him. Obviously it's a milestone, it's a fantastic milestone. It's usually one of their first kind of gross motor milestones is rolling. So it's, it's, it is quite exciting when they do start rolling, but it can interfere with sleep. So, our goal is always to try and keep uh, sleep um, as least disruptive as possible. And when it comes to milestones, absolutely it's going to cause issues. It's going to cause some extra wakings. It's going to cause, um, you know, the need for a little more support from mom and dad. And that's okay. We definitely want you to still offer that support and be able to attend to them. But we also want to start working on... Um, that practice during the day because the more we can practice those milestones during the day whether it's sitting standing rolling um, The more we can get that kind of out of their system during the day The better they're gonna sleep. So when it comes to rolling um, We always we always get stuck with well they get onto their belly and then they get stuck so what we want you to do once they start rolling you have you don't have a choice you have to go back in and help them right um I mean, yes, you can leave them, absolutely, if that's what you're comfortable with, and let them figure it out on their own. But if you're not comfortable with that, uh, the first night or so that it happens, you're going to have to go back in and help. So then, once you start to see that that becomes a, a challenge for your little one, what we want you to do is start practicing that during the day. So all day long, you know, put them on their belly and help them roll to their back. So our goal is, with anything that we do with wrestle Parenting, is baby steps, but it's also offering that support, and as their confidence builds, then we off of that support so when it comes to rolling baby rolls onto their belly um, what we want you to do is kind of support their back take their elbow and help them roll back and I'm gonna roll back under their belly take their elbow support the back and help them roll over once they get comfortable with that and that whole feeling of falling because that's kind of what usually scares them a little bit it's that feeling of, of falling towards the back um, once they're comfortable with that with being able to guide them over then what you want to do is then remove that hand on their back and just kind of use their elbow a little bit just to kind of inch them over so that they can then fall over on their fall to their back um, on their own without that support once they're comfortable with that then what you're going to want to do is try and encourage them to do it on their own so they still may need like a little nudge with their arm but you're not going to do it for them right you're not going to give them that motion you're just going to lightly kind of give them a little nudge this is what I want you to do um, so then and then you can start playing games right so if baby's on his belly facing you this way kind of move over a little bit and so that he wants to then or she then wants to turn onto their back so the more you can practice that during the day um, if rolling in the crib is a challenge, practice that in the crib during the day. Give them that opportunity to get that novelty, that excitement of it all out of their system so that when you do put them into bed, A, you know that they can do it, right? You've practiced and practiced and practiced for, you know, a couple of days, a week, whatever it may be for your little one. But you've practiced that a few times a day. So then you're able to, to logically say, okay, I know that he's on his belly. I know that he can roll back onto his back if he needs to get onto his back. Um, for the most part, once babies get onto their bellies, that's usually where they're going to pick. It becomes a favorite spot to sleep. Um, but we just don't want them to be fearful of turning over or feeling that like they're getting stuck and they need your help. So um, I hope that helps. I mean, that's what it comes down to, right? Is always going to be practice, practice, practice during the day. Get that out of their system. Um, really help them become um, comfortable with the whole rolling process so that it's not interfering with their overnights. I hope this helps.